Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo seven captive Phillips head screws. After that, pry the bottom panel, starting from the top corners or the zone behind the hinge. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery is a 90.1 watt hour unit. If you want to remove it, pull out the connector from the mainboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that are fixing the unit to the chassis. The last step is to carefully untangle the speaker cables from the battery housing. The capacity is enough for 14 hours and 17 minutes of web browsing, or 10 hours of video playback. Not bad given the Thirsty H-Series Raptor Lake CPU. It's also important to select the hybrid graphics mode in the BIOS in order to use the iGPU when you are away from the charger. There are two SODIMs for up to 96 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory, working in dual channel mode. The laptops with NVIDIA RTX A1000 or RTX 2000 ADA generation have two M.2 slots for Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 and RAID 1 are also supported. The machines with more powerful GPUs rely on a single Gen 4 M.2 slot. On the left, above the battery, is placed the W WAN slot for optional LTE connectivity. The pre-installed NVMe is protected by a metal plate that has a thermal pad on the inside. There are two more cooling pads placed beneath the SSD. The cooling system looks good. It has two fans, two thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, a pair of heat sinks, and two large heat spreaders. 